Hi friends, I look and feel awful. Um, I had my sutures removed and the testing done on my hand uh, just a few days ago Thursday and the pain was so bad that I actually passed out and had to lay down on the bed thing in the examining room and I've haven't passed out like that in I don't think ever but I was completely I felt like I was completely asleep but I still could hear some murmuring and then finally I heard the doctor say name name what's your name and then um, I fell back asleep I think I answered him and then I I kept hearing him say birthday birthday if you can't tell me your birthday I have to call emergency and I um, was able to say my birthday and so anyway this video is about a couple of things um, what it's really about is a ganglion cyst excision so this is not my organizing videos <laughs> where I'm upbeat and feeling great and excited to organize. This is a video about this surgery that I had. So my bump is gone and it was really huge. So let me start with the bump. So about two years ago, I was in the living room with my husband and we were watching TV and I like to do arm circles, wrist circles, foot circles, because I have a little bit of a hard time sitting down and watching a movie or a TV for too long because I like to keep moving. So anyway, I was doing circles, 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 and I don't even remember what we were watching, but all I remember is at one point I had this weird feeling traveling through my right wrist, and then all of a sudden this gigantic bump formed on the top. And I was like, what the F? This is crazy like I felt like there was an alien inside me and so I showed my husband he could not believe it he was like what the H like he couldn't believe it and I said wow it's like I finally got a cyst I was like I've been having um I have this thing called double crush syndrome which is thoracic outlet syndrome and carpal tunnel combined and so I don't even know, it, and it's all connected to your arm and your neck, but, and my C4, C5 is out of whack. But um, anyway, long story short, the bump formed, and it was huge, and it kept getting bigger and bigger, and I waited like a year, and I was like, wow, this thing is gross. And I kept hearing this thing about book smashing, which I'm not brave enough to do, and just rubbing it every day, which I did start doing. I started rubbing it every day, like just whenever I could remember. Going into year two, I was trying to be on a health kick and get on my yoga. A friend of mine in the DMB family, her name is Trisha Sutrisno. She does these amazing little yoga videos and I thought, wow, I love yoga so much. I try to embody the yoga practice off the mat, and I want to do the physical. I want to get back to the physical yoga. And so I started doing my yoga again, and I was so excited. And next thing you know, I'm like, wow, my wrist is like um, on fire. And then I started waking up in the morning with my arm just completely tingling, numb, on fire and ice like it was just all the really like yucky feelings and I would have to lay in bed and try to do these little exercises um, for like half an hour before I could get up and log into work and I work on a computer which sometimes I was literally mousing with an, a hand that was numb so it was really tough and so after that, I was like, okay, maybe I should get the surgery. My wrist is hurting. I still can't do yoga. I can't do certain yoga moves. 
Um, I had to do them weird with weird positions. And so I thought, okay, let me get the surgery. So then I go to get the surgery on June 13th of this year. So at this time, it's already been two years. So right now, my fingers are as stiff as ever. I can't make a fist. Um, again, when the doctor tried to force my fingers down and he did some sight um, examination, I literally passed out from the pain. It was so intense. Yeah, it was worse for me than childbirth. But anyway, so two weeks in bed feeling like absolute crap, not able to do anything. Thank God I have a family that can help me like pull my underwear up and down, like all that stuff. Like I couldn't go to the bathroom. Meanwhile, I'm using my left hand for everything. So now I'm off balance. And then because I'm having to keep my arm above my heart for two weeks straight, she said, I have to do that for the healing, for the surgery process. Oh, and so anyway, I can't even scratch my own neck. So anyway, um, not with this hand anyway. So basically two weeks in bed. And mind you, I am older, but I'm not that old, <laughs> you know. So, and to, to be transparent, I'm 58 and... This was the year that I had my surgery in my 58th year. So, 57, going on to 58. I'll, I'll be 58 soon. So, basically, two weeks in bed, arms raised above the head, everything else out of kilter, back locking up, neck locking up. Then I have to, like, hunch over going to the bathroom. Um, and I think many of you have experienced that excruciating when your back locks up. And that's what happened. So now I'm through that portion. My sweet daughter gave me two baths because <laughs> it is quite an endeavor. And I didn't even care what I smelled like or anything. She gave me two beautiful baths, which I am so grateful for. Totally scrubbed me up like a baby. And that lasted me several days. And I did the baths before I had to go to doctor's appointments and stuff. So, you know, you, you can't get your thing wet. I had a plaster, a mini plaster cast with a splint. So anyway, um, now I'm on the next part of the healing. The doctor said this is the actual healing part. So three weeks of rehab that I have to do. So I've got to start learning how to make a fist. So I'm doing that at least once a day for 20 minutes, pushing on my fingers and trying to make a fist and then this is the part like nobody told me you're still going to have wrist weakness you're still going to have pain you're still going to have all these things so now I'm thinking should I have even had the surgery I was getting used to my bump and I could find soft jewelry to like put a bracelet over the bump because it was hideous so now I have a beautiful flat arm but is it worth it? <laughs> so, so that is my question right now. Um, was it worth it? And I guess I'll see in a few months after the full rehabilitation takes place. Meanwhile, during all of this, I was diagnosed with a prolapsed bladder and uterus. And for the, it, it's something that happens to women, um, especially if you have had vaginal childbirth. And basically, it feels like I'm having a baby or that my baby's low because my bladder and uterus is prolapsed. So June 13th, I had this thing. June 20th, I had a full, painful reproductive health uh, organ exam. And she gave me all the d details on what I can do. So for that, I'm actually going to be going to start with physical therapy because I am done with surgeries. Surgeries set me back. Um, and I, I don't want to have another serious, this, this will be an actual serious surgery because they go inside and they put a mesh band around your bladder and your uterus and they lift it up. I'd rather just have, I know you can't remove your bladder, but I would rather just have the uterus gone. But then that, now you're into 
uh, hormone replacement therapy and all that stuff. And I'm actually, honestly, I was just starting a health kick. So all of these health setbacks has really got me kind of down. But anyway, I'm going to do the physical therapy. That's going to be six months to a year. I'm going to do the physical therapy for this. And I just hope I can do actually proper yoga again. And I know there's modifications. I've talked to a couple of people. But there are things that you'll never be able to do again if this doesn't, if I can't get the strength back in my wrist. So that's it for that. I have not been on a computer for over like three weeks now and I'm so grateful to my work they have been so amazing um, and I've gotten so many amazing messages from friends and work people and I don't want to get too emotional but it's been really helpful knowing that I have so many people who are just so supportive and my husband and my kids my son cut my nails yesterday and um I just remember cutting his when he was a baby. So anyway, all this to say, I definitely have setback on do even doing my videos. I will try to do another video for organizing, but um, this is a ganglion cyst excision video. This is not an organizing video, but I definitely, definitely am set behind. I can't do computer work. So I'm not able to finish my ebook, which I was so excited about. And now that I'm, you know, held up like this, I'm thinking, wow, do I even like the way I had started it or set it up? So I may change it completely. It may be a completely different ebook by the time I can start using my hands and fingers again. But anyway, so I wanted to do a ganglion cyst excision video which is what this is <laughs> yeah and I'm finally just understanding that getting outside in nature being outside in the fresh air is so important and it's definitely helping my recovery um, and I think that's enough for today I just wanted to kind of stay on top, make sure I'm doing videos regularly. I know that with YouTube, you know, that that is kind of an expectation, and I just basically launched my YouTube, and even though this is not an organizing video, this is a video about just sometimes slogging through the parts that are hard, pushing through the parts that are hard, and knowing that you will come out the other side and whatever happens, you have to be flexible and be ready for the next move. So that's kind of where I'm at. I have my little sidekick here. Let's see if I can get her on film. I don't know if you can see her. Sugar, can you say hi? She's my little fur angel. She just stays with me when I'm sick. She will not leave my side. But anyway, I want to give you all a big smile and say thank you for watching. And um, the lesson for me is if you are having any kind of surgery, find out a little bit more about the possibilities and what could happen on the back end of your surgery. Because it may deter you from doing the surgery at all. So anyway, wishing you all, <laughs> I can't wave, wishing you all a wonderful weekend, get out in nature, and um, put a smile on your face, listen to some good Dave Matthews music, and enjoy. Bye everyone.